So basically when I come home, I'll cook for my brothers and like most of the time it's probably this, like cheesy beans on toast because it's like the easiest, the cheapest meal you could make. My mum's got epilepsy, so she's always taking medication, so I like help out a lot. Because of her epilepsy, she can't go near the pots and pans. It's just too dangerous, that's why I do it. Sometimes there will be an awkward situation. If there's not enough food for all four of us, I will make myself some like soup noodles or something. Just something that can fill me up. I didn't even know I was in food poverty. Like I thought it was just normal. I just got so used to being hungry that I just thought, that's life. It can be really hard and it's worse in the holidays when we don't get dinner at school. I'll have to go to a homeless centre for food parcels to keep me and my brothers from going hungry. This is literally our only option. This is last resort. When I was younger, I used to say it all the time, you know, mum, I'm hungry. In school, it's like a lack of concentration and lack of confidence. So that's where the name from the campaign came from. Darwin gets hungry. And having to wait for dinner. I started it with some mates who had the same problems. We meet and plan out how to send a message to other kids so they're not alone. So if we're able to go to London, what should we talk about? Um, about people, how they can't concentrate in school, how angry they get, how even like sad and emotional they get when they haven't had breakfast in the morning or even tea the night before. All the people in power look at us as like, vulnerable, fragile, like, we don't have a say. Yeah, we might not be able to vote yet, but I still know what I'm doing, I'm not stupid. We wanted to show people in power how bad it, the situations were, but they just won't listen. Granada Reports contacted Jake Berry to see if he would talk to us about this. He wasn't available, but he sent us a statement instead. So this is what he said, he's wrote back to us. The government is investing in communities across the Northern Powerhouse to ensure everyone has the opportunity to reach their full potential. While the country has experienced record high employment, we also know that some people need more support. That's why we're spending 95 billion to support families who need it. And by 2022, we will be spending 28 billion more on welfare than we do now. Oh. So Jordan, what do you think about this letter? Well, as our local MP has a duty to fulfil, we are um, people of the borough. We clearly are not getting treated as we should be. 48% of people in Blackburn with Darwin are in, in some sort of poverty. I agree with Jordan on how he's not caring about our borough. He's just caring about everyone around us and the important people in London and everyone around, which is not, it's not nothing to do with us. MPs need to start focusing on what is actually important. We expect our government to look after us. It's not happening. We need to do something about it. I just want the government to help us like, get through everything and I won't stop campaigning until they do.